let's face it, we all love SkyMall. I love SkyMall. Every time I enter into an airplane, there's always an issue of SkyMall that's waiting for me to read through. And I love it, not because I would want to buy any of it. It's actually quite the opposite. It's just most of the stuff that they sell in here is just so stupid and useless that I don't know how anybody makes any money from SkyMall. It just doesn't make sense that this magazine has been going on for so long because maybe there are people who actually buy some of this stuff. So what I'm going to show you is what they sell in here. So SkyMall. King Tut's Egyptian Throne Chair for $895. My, that'd be good for an office chair, though. This is one of my favorites. It's a zombie statue for your garden for, for $89. $89.95 for your garden. Yeah. You know, if I have a kid someday, I'm going to buy this and put it under his bed. And I'll just let the rest work for itself. <laughs> Actually, that's too cruel. I wouldn't do that in real life, but... Uh, I mean, I could just imagine, like, hey, don't worry, son, there's no monster under your bed. See? Uh, oh, oh, my God! This is Basho, the sumo wrestler statue and glass top table. As you can see here, that's Basho standing. But what I really love is the glass top table. I'm kind of curious how that kind of came into reality. Like, hey, guys, look, I got an idea. Let's use a Basho, the sumo wrestler statue and turn it into a glass top table. Be great for, uh, for for cocktail drinks. This is my favorite. This is the uh, Head Spa Massager for $49.95. And uh, I like how he's trying to be intelligent, like, uh, I'm thinking. I'm, uh, I'm thinking I shouldn't wear this in public. It's guaranteed to relieve stress and end your first date quickly. Oh, look at this one. Truck antlers, yeah. A yeah, fun way to run with the herd. Yeah. Of course, this magazine is known for selling useless items for your pets. For instance, right here, this is the best example. This is for, you know, if you, you have your favorite college football team, you have a little dog that's about the, you know, about this size. So you buy a dog house that's the shape of a football helmet. And uh, so for $400, you can have this for your dog. Another good one that I have is uh, the 24-7 self-cleaning litter box, no more scooping. Looks like a science experiment. Kind of looks like an egg. I feel sorry for the cat. It's like, uh, what the hell am I supposed to do in this thing? Oh, look at the dog. This is the K9 genealogy kit for $60. This kit analyzes your dog's DNA and identifies the breed in its ancestry. Who cares? Your passenger seat office. I mean, talk about multitasking. Look at her. I mean, she's talking on a cell phone as she's typing on her laptop while looking for files and going 80 on 9.95. Oh wait, there's something in red. Not used for while driving. Yeah, that's a key sentence. This is the Slanket for $38, and I think I've seen this in commercials. It's a blanket that has sleeves, and you can fully wrap yourself in. But what I really love, though, is that they have a photo of this guy that's in a sporting event, like a baseball or football game. He's sitting down smiling with a cup of beer, wearing a slanket. I mean, no guy is going to have the guts to wear a slanket to a sporting event. That'd be like going to a sporting event wearing a fanny pack. I mean, come on, you're going to be made fun of. This is a useful item right here. This is the folding footrest. It makes long flights comfortable for short legs. So for 2045, you can have this footrest. You can tell the guy who invented this thing, he was like, he was desperate to invent something. Like, really, really, really desperate. This is the Holy Bible, King James, and New International Versions with Holman Bible Dictionary. It's a, it's a digital Bible dictionary. So for $99, you can have this digital dictionary. You know what this looks like? It looks like it's 10 years old. I remember back in 7th and 8th grade, people had stuff like this. It was like a little pocket dictionary. And guess what? That was like back in 2000. That was nearly 10 years ago. So, yeah, it's pretty old. The telekinetic obstacle course. Focus brain waves move a ball through obstacles. I like his face. Thrill as he thinks about moving a ball for $99. Boy, Mom, thanks. That's what I always wanted. 
Right here we have the Keep Your Distance Bug Vacuum for $49.99 and pretty self-explanatory. I guess the thing is built to suck bugs. So, yeah, for 50 bucks. Or for a lot cheaper, you can use the New York Times. It wouldn't suck, but it will just kill it just as effectively. This is a pretty famous one. This is uh, the world's largest crossword puzzle. I mean, this thing has been on here for years. I mean, same photo and everything. Nothing's changed about it. They, I guess this thing has been selling incredibly well. I have no idea, but I mean, really, I, I, don't, I don't know. How do you show this off to your neighbors when they come visit your place? I mean, like, uh, uh, yes, here, this is my son's graduation photos. And right over here, this is the world's largest crossword puzzle. I mean, not everything that they sell in Sky Mall is completely useless. I mean, they sell some pretty useful material, like, uh, for instance, uh, this thing. I mean, come on, let's face it. Every garden is begging for a Yeti statue. He was a hard-working farm boy. She was an Italian supermodel. He knew he would just have one chance to impress her. Rosetta Stone. I, they've had this same ad for at least two years now. I don't know. I mean, I mean I, every time... It has to be at least a year and a half now. I mean, they never changed the ad to this thing. I mean, I like Rosetta Stone. I respect it. I mean, it's a good learning program to learn different languages, but, I mean, come on. I mean, this is kind of a weird excuse to buy a learning program.